All right, guys, so I'm back again here with Wyatt. And we're getting ready to go head down to the taxidermist. We just grabbed us a bite to eat here at the Walmarts. So we're going to go down to the taxidermist. Wyatt's going to take his deer down there, and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. And then I'm going to pick my European mount up from the buck I killed this year. So if you haven't watched that video, go on over to the channel and watch that video. I got the kill shot and everything, so I was really pumped up about it. But yeah, so hey, let's get on the road and get down to the taxidermist real quick. It's deer now real quick before we take it into the taxidermist there. Oh yeah. Nice eight point. Yep, Wyatt done good. Awesome. We're gonna run in here and see how my European mount turned out and get Wyatt's turned in to get mounted. So pretty exciting, ain't it, bud? Oh yeah. Alright everyone, welcome back. So I made it home. Uh, we drove back from the taxidermist and are making it home now so I will flip the camera around and go ahead and show you guys what exactly we got back from the taxidermist and I'll just say I'm super excited. Uh, they did a really great job and I can't be more thankful so here you go. All right there it is. Seven point. It's got the nice plaque there. I love the plaque it looks really good. The detail in the whitening of the skull is incredible. All the pieces seem to be intact and looking good. And the antlers didn't skip a beat. I mean, look at that. He's not the biggest deer in the world. But I sure am proud of him. It's a nice Missouri Ozarks deer. Love it. Good acorn fed deer. You know, as I sit here gazing upon the skull and antlers, you know, I just cannot help but feel blessed. And I just know that, you know, to some, this is just, you know, another thing to put on the wall. But to me, it is so much more. This buck is going to feed my family all throughout the winter. Um, we've already had some backstrap for Thanksgiving, and we'll have some for Christmas as well. And it just really really is incredible to know that I was able to harvest this deer and respect this animal and use it to feed my family. There's no greater feeling than being able to successfully harvest an animal and then being able to tell all your friends and family, but then even better is the aspect of being able to use it to nourish your entire family. And so I just can't be more thankful. I'm thankful to the good Lord up above for allowing me to harvest this animal and you know it's just a special special occasion every time you get to step out into the woods so i challenge you guys to just be thankful in everything you do and just remember that even if you don't kill the biggest deer um, which this one sure isn't uh, nowhere near the biggest one i've ever killed um, but i'm just super thankful and i challenge you guys to just be thankful as well because we don't know you know how much longer we have or you know how long we will be able to do this so just be thankful in all you do and hey we will catch you on the next one. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate it. See y'all.